right, everyone, hold on to your butts. We're about to light some fire. This season of Big Brother is getting totally twisted, and Quinn's deep fake HOH power has the potential of turning this game upside down. But how is he gonna actually use it now that like everyone already knows he has it? And how's the new HOH gonna take being deep faked? I will name my three nominees right here and right now. No, that's not me. That's not me. Let's get into Sunday's episode of Big Brother season 26. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. We pick up after Kenny was mercy voted out of the house, despite Tucker's grand theatrics saving Angela with his veto and winning the AI arena to try and take out Quinn. Quinn, of course, is feeling great having survived a pretty poorly thought out backdoor attempt. And Tucker has just put a huge target on his own back. It's not just the Pentagon coming for him now. He made himself the number one threat in this house, and he better watch his back. He's gonna have to win everything. This week's HOH is gonna be big because everyone knows Quinn can use his power to hijack the nominations this week. And the only person who can truly be safe is the HOH. This week's comp was a knockout style bad AI game. And I gotta say, these equitable HOH comps are making for a really interesting season because it's Angela and Cam in the final matchup. I mean, couldn't be more different as players. And because she's gonna win this season, I swear to God, Angela gets HOH. She has won now 50% of the HOHs for the season. It's wild. I got HOH two times! It's everything I wanted and more right here in the palm of my hand. Brooklyn, though, apparently she didn't learn from Matt when it comes to confronting Angela after a win. She wants to know why she targeted her in the comp. But Brooklyn, you targeted Angela first. It is nothing personal at all. I put no that personal. on everything. I'm sorry, I could tell you took it that way. Yeah, I did because I've been the, one of the only people that I've been honest with you the whole time. But look at this growth. Angela doesn't freak out, these two hug, and then, oh, Angela gets caught trying to fake cry. <laughs> I can't cry. I can't cry. I cannot make it happen. I take back what I said about growth. With Angela's HOH, Quinn is definitely going to use his deep fake HOH, right? It's a bummer that it's not really going to be a surprise, but I don't think Angela understands how the rules behind it work, so it is kind of still a surprise to her. She outed me to the house and doesn't know what it is. She and Tucker plan to put up Quinn, Brooklyn, and Cedric, but again, they're not going to get to put up anyone. That's not how this works. Quinn, meanwhile, is planning his real nominees. He asked the visionaries, Kimo and Tikor, about nominating Mackenzie, Tucker, and Rubina. He's trying to separate the little love fest we've got going on between Tubina, my new couple name for this non-couple. I need this kiss too. Oh my god, sorry. But Cedric wants Tucker to not just beast mode his way out of the veto and AI arena again, so he volunteers to take Rubina's spot to take out Tucker. He's like public enemy number one. It's then time for the nomination ceremony, and nothing has ever been as funny to me as Angela reacting to the deep fake twist that she already knows about. I will name my three nominees right here and right now. No, that's not me. That's not me. Tucker, McKenzie, and Cedric go on the block, and because everyone knows Quinn is behind the noms, the twist kind of loses some of its shine, I'm not gonna lie. But how will the veto and renominations go? I mean, Quinn gets power over that too. We'll find out in Wednesday's episode, but make sure you tune in on Tuesday, August 13th at 8 p.m. ET, because we've got an interesting special episode. We've got some past winners returning to look back at the season, and they're teasing a game-changing twist. What could that be? Kenny Twin Twist confirmed? I'm just joking, but if you know what I'm talking about, congratulations on being as chronically online as I am. If not, make sure you like and subscribe down below, drop a comment, and head over to popculture.com for the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.